my dancers, Rachel Fine here, registered dietitian nutritionist. So today I'm talking to you about how we can navigate time off. So whether it's a layoff or perhaps you're recovering from an injury or maybe surgery, we need to talk about how we can actually both physically and mentally navigate the times when you really can't partake in your favorite physical activities. Because if you're anything like me, movement is your psychologist. I actually say this all the time, but taking a dance class or taking a Pilates class is truly my psychologist. It allows me to take a mental break from any stressors in my life or just when I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed or anxious. I love doing some type of movement. And I often find that a lot of my clients feel the same way. And we come just from having a higher than normal physical activity. For example, a dancer who's balancing classes, rehearsals, performances. It can be very tough when all of that physical activity is taken away from you for however long it might be. So let's discuss some ways that you can manage this time because I promise you will survive and you will triumph even if you can't do as much as you would hope. Number one, fuel the process. So this actually stems from one of the most common questions that I get, whether it's from athletes or dancers, but when it comes to your recovery days or your rest days, you really have to fuel these just as well as you do on your active days. It's a misconception that perhaps you may feel, well, I'm not burning as many calories, so let me not eat as much. But guys, that's not the case. Recovery is just as much of a workout for your body as actually working out or as actually moving. So I want you to stick to your balanced meals and snacks, eating consistently throughout the day. You've heard me talk about how to do this in previous videos and in previous blog posts, um, but it's really important that you are fueling your rest and fueling your recovery and avoid that mindset of, oh, well, I'm not burning calories, so I may as well not eat calories. Guys, that is not the case. Your body is always burning calories. You are metabolically always active and you want to fuel that process. Number two, lighten the load. So let me preface this by you should always get medical clearance before starting any type of physical activity, especially if you are recovering from an injury or perhaps recovering from surgery. Um, but I find personally that partaking in lighter types of exercises, maybe it's just foam rolling or even just using a TheraBand on your own, really helps to increase blood flow, which further helps to honestly make me feel better um, mentally and physically. So even considering some other type of cross-training activities like yoga, Pilates, gyrotonics can help. Again, you want to get medical clearance, but choosing some of these lighter activities, activities that are not putting pressure on your joints could be beneficial to just helping you feel a bit better. Number three, and guys, this is one of the most important ones, consider self-care. There comes a time when you're just going to have to accept that your body needs rest right now. It needs rest because it needs to recover. And before dwelling over the idea that you aren't as active as you'd like and if you're feeling down about yourself, remember that your body needs this right now. It needs to take this rest because it wants to get back to whatever activity you're doing, whether that's dancing or not. And remember, self-care is crucial critical when it comes to getting back to yourself, no matter how long that might be, whether that's a week out, two weeks out, months, even if it's up to a year, try not to freak out too much. Your body is doing what it needs to do to get back to being better than ever. So check out, I've got a bunch more tips in the blog post that I'm linking below. And if you want a little bit more help to get through this tough time, consider signing up for my online course. It can help you rebuild both your relationship with food while also learning how to fuel your performance and fuel this critical time of rest and recovery.